followers are you running a business if so you need to keep your finances properly to run your business flawlessly so let's use the concept of log dates in order to avoid the collision between the taxes duplication in the journey entries or other financial stuffs in odu physical year is a fundamental concept that is used in an accounting period that allow you to set the start date and end date for a physical year at the end of each quarter the business closes their respective periods in odu using log dates when you set log dates you cannot make any further changes without proper authorization now let's say an employee has accidentally enters a sales transaction with improper date in his previous period which is already locked oops what to do now without proper authorization he cannot make any changes in his transaction so let's see the magic of using log dates in odo 16 accounting module see how can we close a physical year so for that you can just get into the accounting module and in the accounting module first we have to create a physical year so as per the indian localization a physical year starts from april 1st and it ends on 31st march but in all cases the physical year may not be considered so so you can consider a scenario where uh like your company might be started in uh june of 2023 so the company uh, might be setting a physical year for the company i mean for their company as uh starting from june to uh, till 31st march so let's see how can we create a physical year uh, in odo 16 for that company so here the company is udan so in order to create a new physical year you can just enable physical year uh from the configuration settings so when you just drag down here you can see we can configure a physical year so uh we have a section called physical period as we have installed physical localization as indian localization odo will configure the last date of the physical year as march 31st so in order to define a physical year more than or less than one year here odo provides a feature called physical year and it is easy to create uh, a physical year so you can uh, give the name of the physical year here uh, so let me provide it as physical year for june 2023 and here it is very easy to set the start date and all so let me set it as first june 2023 okay and you can set the end date which is march so 331 2023 yeah finally we have just created a physical year uh sorry it's on 24th uh so yeah here you can change it as 24 and you can just save okay finally you can save the physical year and uh we have currently created the physical year so uh, let's see how uh, a company is managing their closing of the physical year so while closing a physical year we have to keep in mind that we have to post all these on libraries and we have to keep everything up to date and uh, let's consider um, have to set an opening balance in the company so in order to set the opening balance you can just move on to the configuration settings and we have an option called review manually this would allow you to set an end of the year balances so let me go to the review manually and here you can see uh the account has different amount and let me set the amount right now so here you can set the opening balance so i will be giving an opening balance over here and let me save this and once i have saved the opening balance under the accounting we have journal entries and opening balance will be automatically created here so you can see we have just created an opening balance and you can just pause this so once you pause this you would be able to see that the company has this much amount in in the company's uh, balance okay now let's see how can we manage a winter bill and uh, invoice in odo 16 accounting in order to close a physical period so uh, you can just create a yeah a bill by choosing i mean a invoice by choosing the customer and you can fill out all other details so let me choose a whiteboard pen and i need 1000 quantities with the amount of 20 for 20 as a price 
and you can see 20,000 will be the revenue and you can just confirm this. So once you confirm this, you would be able to see uh, the invoice reference number over here and you also need to consider the customer name and the amount. Now let's reconcile this invoice. So in order to reconcile, you can just choose a bank and here you can create a statement. So here you can provide the date as well as you know the amount is 20,000. You can fill out the amount and here we have to provide the label as the invoice reference number. Afterwards, you can choose the partner who is Deco Addict and you can just save this. Now we are going to uh, validate this statement against the payment. So you can see currently it's matched and under the invoices you would be able to see that it's in paid state and under the reporting you can see the balance sheet and the total asset of the company is turned right now. So the 20,000 is added with the current asset of the um, company and you can see that uh, the equity and everything. Now let's see how can we manage an expense in Odoo 16 and for that you can uh, just go to the vendor bills and create a vendor bill by filling out all the details so it is mandatory to set the bill date and you can fill out the company details so let me uh, choose the vendor as the jackson group and you can choose the yeah uh, all other details so here let me choose the storage box and i need 10 quantity of storage box which ha uh, cost 50 and you can see the price over here so afterwards you can save this and confirm okay so once i confirm this i need to consider the vendor bill as well as the vendor name and the amount now let's create a vendor bill so in i mean uh, a statement for this vendor bill so uh, that you can just go to the bank and choose new and it is mandatory to set the amount in negative because we are creating a vendor bill and you can set the label over here and you can choose the Jackson group as the partner. Okay, now let me save this. So once I save this, you can see that as it's an expense, this will be shown in, um, yeah, minus, uh, I mean in negative and in red color. So currently it's matched and when you just move on to the bills, you would be able to see that it's matched and that can be viewed under the bank statement. So you can see the expense and everything is shown here, which means the expense is currently deducted from the assets of the company. So you can see uh, the amount over here. Now, we know when we close a physical period, we need to move the unallocated earnings of the company into the next physical year. So let's see how can we move the amount from the previous accounting period to new period. So for that, you have to consider the amount. So you can see this is the unallocated amount and uh, the current year earning or current year unallocated amount also is shown here and you can see the total current year earning. So these amount will be generated from the invoices and bills. So as you create or as you have more invoices, your revenues will be increasing and as the expense or the rental bill is created, uh, you know that the expense is increasing and the amount will be deducted from the revenue of the organization. And you can see that the equity can be calculated in such a way that liabilities plus equity. Right. So this balance sheet would let you to know the profit and gain of the, your organization. So this gives a clear understanding that whether your company is in profit or loss. So let's see how can we move uh, the unallocated earnings. So this is the unallocated amount. So you can just consider the amount. So let me copy uh, that amount, um, which is, uh, you know that, yeah, 101950. Okay. So now let me just move on to the um, journal entries and let's create a new journal entry. So while, uh, yeah, creating a journal entry, you can just give the name here. So physical of physical year, closing physical year be the reference. And here you can give the date and here you can just give the account details. So let me choose the default account. 
that is undistributed profit losses account so once you get into the internal link here you can see the current year earning uh, is the type of this account and uh, here you can set the amount also so uh, let me consider the amount which is 1019500 now if i need to move this amount into the returned earning so let me create a new account which is of the code uh, uh, triple i mean 300300 and here you can provide the name of the account as retained earning retained earning so let me create yeah and here you can set the type of this account as equity and afterwards you can save this now uh, you can see a debit and credit will be happening in this account and you can just save this and afterwards just paused so once you paused uh, this amount under the reporting you would be able to see that the amount is moved into the retained earning because we have moved the unallocated earnings to the next year okay now let's see how can we set a lock date like how can we lock a particular date and once we lock a particular date in a physical year we cannot make any changes okay so we when when we close a physical period we might be closing the we might be locking the dates so as we lock the dates we cannot create any uh, expenses or invoices uh, with the lock dates so for that you can just move on to the accounting and we have a uh, yeah feature called lock dates in order to set the lock dates so here once you um, set the lock dates for journal entries the journal entries will be locked so let me uh, set the lock dates uh, as uh, yeah as of today so let me choose the date and if you want to log the tax return i mean uh, tax return you can also uh, log that also then afterwards you can choose uh, log dates for all users so once you uh, log the date we cannot make any changes uh, or the only the authorized person in an organization can make further changes okay not everybody can check, uh, make changes like uh, on the log dates can be only deal by the consultation user as well as the accountant in an organization so you can save this so currently we have saved uh, i mean we have just logged a physical period now let's see what happened when we close a physical period so you can just move on to the invoices and um, when you try to create an invoice here you can see that the date is been set prior to the uh, log dates so when you try to create a new invoice you cannot make a new invoice uh, with the date of i mean uh, with the log date so here i have just logged uh, till uh, today so let me choose a product over here and uh, here you can set the price is 50 and afterwards when i try to save this and yeah let me try to confirm this you can see that you cannot add or modify the en entries prior to an exclusive log date this is because we have already logged the date till september 20 so we cannot make any changes right now here but you can create an invoice after this date okay so if i change the date from here to the 21st uh you can see we are creating a bill uh with afterwards of the date and you can just save this and you can just create a bill so it is very easy to close a physical year now you can also get the audit report uh, from the general ledger you can just go to the reporting and under the general general ledger you would be able to see that currently the amount is set to zero that is the total this is because once we close a physical period, we know that the unallocated earnings of the previous period will be moving to the new physical year. So that's why it's shown here as zero. And if you want to get the general ledger PDF, you can just download and you can also get the XLS reports. You can filter the data based on this month, this quarter, financial year, last month, last quarter, 
or you can use some other custom filtrations you can also get all journals or the journals individually you can also use analytic filtrations and you can also get the include unposted entries unfolded all and cash basis amount so this is how we manage with the log dates or this is how we close a physical period of physical year so hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching the video as always stay awesome